of their place. And it ain't good for grown folks and old folks to be killing children under no circumstance. But it ain't proper for young people to be disrespecting older people as if the older person is handicapped. Now, other situation here. Over there in one of the Hispanic neighborhoods, little village, I've been in that CVS. And you know, they all right. I go in there to buy my cigar. Not no dad going blunt. Talking about Hampton's own. Good real mm -hmm. cigar. Yeah. From Hedora. Pull tobacco. So the other night when I heard this man had been killed, the coroner's office said he was a homicide. A homicide, that's right. Chicago Police Department said it was an accident. Don't matter. He's just a Negro. You can run him down the road, catch you a coon, and kill him. Just strangle him to death. Can you imagine, brother, had a Negro strangled a sucker to death on his yard, on his property? Yeah, was, it would have been murder. The same way the other killed the June bug That's right. on his property. And $3 million. And he got $3 million That's bond. Right. And here, this dude here. Yeah. This dude here did he not go to jail? Come on, white folk. What the hell wrong with you? Do you think we stupid? How can you run down a black man and strangle him to death and you go home free and a black man defend his property and he get a $3 million bond? bond. Now, I'm not going to say that the man was right by stealing. It don't matter what you're stealing. But some toothpaste and some crayon. But see, that's see, folks fell on two things happening here. Number one, this guy was a store manager. Mm -hmm. This guy was not security for that store. Mm -hmm. If you look at policy in stores, any store, if a person steals some merchandise, if he walks out of that door, okay, you are not to follow him. You to call the police. I mean, the real police quote. Mm -hmm. But they chased this man for two blocks. You there? They, I say they, because it was three people. Mm -hmm. Two people was holding the man down while his manager held him by his throat. By his throat. And one of the other, the third person was a deputy sheriff with her gun out. Now come on. And they ruled it an accident. So that means if I steal something out of a store, mm -hmm. okay? Well, they can wait for two days and then come to my house and kill me because mm -hmm. I'm two blocks away right. from that property. Mm -hmm. And number two, it's already factored in for theft. Mm -hmm. Any store, corporation, factor in theft. Even the employees will steal. Mm -hmm. But it's already factored in because that cost goes on to the consumer. Mm -hmm. There was no reason whatsoever to kill that man. Choke him to death. Mm -hmm. And they say, as it so Alvarez, and the manager was Hispanic, by the mm -hmm. way. And Alvarez, who is the uh, state's attorney, Hispanic. And nah, what, what, what are you saying, boy? Mm -hmm. I'm just tying it up. That's all. Now, here the coroner did his job. He ruled it a homicide. Mm -hmm. Chicago police says, well, it was an accident. Even charging the person, let them go through the court system. But no, you go ahead on home. Uh, and they told him, uh, we're going to pay you. Just don't come back until we get it straightened out. Now, do you know, had that been a Negro strangled a Mexican, this whole town would be up in an uproar. And why are you, you, you bubblegum lip, so-called Negro leaders? Why are you all not boycotting? Why are you all not making a fuss? Why are you all so quiet? Well, they in Arizona. They in Arizona making sure that thing happened. You know, and I, don't get me wrong. I ain't got no issue with the Hispanics, but there's a real undercurrent going on out here. Black kids and Hispanic kids, particularly the Mexicans. There's a war going on out here in these streets, and y'all want to pretend it ain't. But when somebody be as irresponsible as this city has been in this situation, thank God that the weather has been cool. Because had it been warm like it might be later on this week, the, some of this stuff would brew over. I'm talking to young bucks, man. Yeah. They are angry. Because, see, they feeling it and they seeing it. And one of the things that we need to understand, community, one of the things we need to understand is very, very clearly. 
When you don't respect yourself, other folks take you for granted. If we would stop dogging ourselves so much, maybe others would not. But even a black man can't kill another black man and not be charged for murder. So yeah. how in the hell can a Hispanic kill a person for stealing some toothpaste and some crayons? Now, they didn't say that the man had any mil mental issues. They didn't say much more than he stole those little petty items. But why would he steal toothpaste? Why would he steal crayons? Well, toothpaste is associated with hygiene. Crayons is associated with artwork or children. But it ain't associated with no big time operation like trying to rip off the joint. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you have to look at it from this standpoint. Again, when it's factored in, number one. Number two, they try to dirty up the mm -hmm. victim because mm -hmm. this man was a victim. Mm -hmm. They go further down and say, oh, well, but he had been arrested. He had a drug case and he had a burglary case some time ago. So that means justify killing him? Right. If that's the point, everybody with a case, just take him out and hang him. Mm -hmm. Let's kill him. As if the store manager knew that in advance. Right. So that would give him the opportunity to say, oh, he's a criminal, so let me just kill him. It could have been me. It could have been right. you. It could have been anybody. And the bottom line is, once these people get so they want to do this, and you tell them they can do that, now what you're going to do, Mr. Daly, you're going to make people start back finding and hiding them guns. They just gave you 4,000 guns the other day. Now, you done set up a situation where we see that Hispanics can kill us and you won't do nothing about it. Come on. They tell me Bobby Rush, uh, you know what I mean? Congressman. Congressman Bobby Rush asking for an investigation. As a matter of fact, they held a press conference today. Mm -hmm. No, tomorrow. Well, y'all mm -hmm. need to go. Y'all you know. need to support him on this. You know, but I ain't calling none of you, 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 you rascals older than me leader no more. You don't lead nothing. You're how can it not be a problem, brother? How can this not be a problem? They should be two doing two things. These so-called national, international Negro leaders, y'all should be doing two things right now. Y'all should be having a fundraiser for that man from out there in University Park to help him with his case. And then y'all should have been doing something as it relates to make it clear between white folk, black folk, Hispanic folk, Asian folk, Arab folks, all these folks that think they can do a coon whenever they get ready. Y'all need to let them know coon season ain't on. And if you keep killing us, even though we're killing ourselves, you're going to start something in this city that you ain't going to be ready for. And I ain't threatening you. I ain't calling for that. But I'm saying those of you that got the man's ear, y'all need to tell them they need to charge this boy. They need to do justice. Dude, you can't just go strangle a man because he stole something. Hey, Who the hell are you? And one great thing about it, his... His uh, folks, they made a move to do this civil lawsuit. Mm -hmm. But that won't bring money, you know, they get be compensated, but that won't bring that back. Two, they're going to take it to the federal level mm -hmm. of violating his civil rights by killing him. We, do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Here's a sucker violates my civil rights by killing me. Right. But then again, it don't violate a criminal law right. and be called murder. Yeah. Right. See where we at, y'all? <laughs> That's because they think we ignorant. Caller, speak on it. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, I was just calling to let you know 